The England coach Steve McNamara was in Westminster to deliver a different sort of team talk. He was there to address members of the all-party parliamentary rugby league group. If we crack the England programme and become successful... The parliamentary group invited the England coach to Westminster so they could hear about preparations for the 2013 World Cup campaign and get an insight into how a national coach goes about his job. They just want to talk rugby league at the end of the day and I love doing that as well. So I think it's just great uh, for myself to get the opportunity. I'm, you know, I'm privileged to, to, to come and speak to the, this group of MPs and, and hopefully they'll get a, a fair bit out of what I'm going to talk to them about and I'll certainly get some from them. So certainly it's uh, part, and part, part and parcel of the remit there and, and one I'm privileged to do. The Rugby League group has around 60 members from both houses, Lords and Commons, and it's been in existence since 1988. Labour peer Doug Hoyle is one of the longest serving of those members. We work very hard with that, along with the Rugby League uh, authorities themselves, to say, look, we've got to make sure that we get the recognition that Rugby League deserves. I think it's a great game, but we wanted to bring it to a wider audience, and that's what we've set about to do. Politicians are expert at lobbying, that's what they do, on interest for their constituents and they're very good at elbowing for room, jostling for position, lobbying ministers, whether it's the sports minister, the health minister, treasury, DCMS, DOH, whatever it might be, they're all getting in there and they're all putting that message forward. Groups like this bring them together with one voice and one aim and that's where the strength lies. The nice white socks you've got. They don't just talk the talk, they also walk the walk in the form of their own rugby league team, the political animals, which involves MPs, peers and councillors. The team was in action last weekend, playing the British Asian Rugby Association at Keithley in a fundraising game for the Pakistan Flood Relief Appeal, raising over £5,000 for the fund. One of the fantastic things about political animals is, you know, we come from different political parties, we've got uh, Liberal Democrat, Labour, Conservative, um, when we come together on the pitch, like any good sports team, we are, we are brothers and we are one team and uh, you know, for that uh, 80 minutes we are uh, you know, one side and we, and we very much play that way and we look after each other. So that's why they're called the political animals. But there's teamwork at Westminster too. The group recently pressured the government on the issue of funding from the North West Development Agency for the 2013 World Cup looked like they might renege on that when they were being disbanded and uh, we managed to get a commitment from the government that if that were to happen uh, they would support the World Cup by asking questions in Parliament and generally making a pain of ourselves in the event the money was secured and that does matter that's a million pounds for the World Cup that it may not have had otherwise and I think we can do things like that. We've also campaigned on other issues we gave a platform to some of the great work that clubs are doing in tackling homophobia um, in sport you know what we want to see really is that rugby league is leading the way in many of these issues leading the way over and above other sports and we want to give that a platform here.